Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays! Welcome to Ballet Fusion. I am Ria and I'm going to take you through a Christmas classic ballet class today. We're going to start at the bar, so all you'll need is a chair or a countertop if you don't have a bar, and then we're going to come into the centre and onto the floor for a little stretch. So you'll need a mat or a towel just for the last five minutes of class. So be careful if you have any injuries today, make sure you listen to your body, don't do anything that doesn't feel right or feels uncomfortable and feel free to adapt. So please do make these exercises easier or harder to suit your own level and ability and of course take a break anytime you need to. The great thing about video is you can just hit pause or you can skip a whole exercise if you're not into it. So footwear you'll find in socks, bare feet or ballet shoes. I really love dancing in socks when I'm on my hard wooden floor at home. Um, so just make sure that you're not working with too much friction if you're on carpet today. Just be really careful that you'll have some extra friction there. So we're going to start sideways to the bar in first position. Let's have a quick posture reminder before we commence with our plie exercise. So we're going to Squeeze the butt, squeezing those glutes really nice and tight to pull up, pulling up from above the knees all the way into our abdominals, keeping them engaged and activated all the time. Shoulders down, chest nice and open, and a lovely long neck. Okay, so for our plie exercise, it's nice and slow. You can take your time through this one to warm up. We take a demi plie, arm comes to first and stretch. Second plie, arm to fifth and stretch. Leave the arm there, rise and bring the other arm to join for a little balance and lower. Inhale here and exhale into a lovely big grand plie, knees out to the side, four counts to push up. Bring the arm all the way up to fifth, check that shoulder is relaxed, Squeeze the glutes and lift up for a little back release. Recover, bring the arm to second. Breathing in and exhale all the way over into a forward stretch. Roll up through the spine, bring the arm up. Little Tom do to take it to second. Lower and bring the arm back to front bar. So we repeat in second. Plie and stretch. Plie and stretch. Rise and balance. Lower. Into grand plie. Heels stay on the floor in second. And then pointing the outside foot, we're going to take a lovely big stretch towards the bar and recover. Away from the bar, point the foot closest to the bar here and recover. Close to third or fifth, bring the arm down, and last time, plie, arm first, arm fifth, we rise, and balance, grand plie, stay tall, don't stick that bottom out, here we're going to bring the arm to second, point the foot devant, and stretch over, bend the supporting leg, roll up, and then we're going to plie through four, bring the arm to first, extend as long as you point that back foot, and then just a lift here of the arm, stretch through the body, look past those fingertips, recover, and finish drawing those feet together for a little rise and balance. One or both arms off. If you're not confident with those balances, you can keep that hand on the bar the whole time, or just lift it off a couple of inches, lower it down again, see how it feels at the end. When we take that little stretch, if you want to, you can just lift that back leg off. Feel that stretch through the front of the body there, keep the tummy pulled in all the time. Nice and slow. First position. Release. 
ready to go. So yeah. Done. Let's move on to the other side. Have a little shake of those legs. And then find your first position on the other side. Then breathe from the arm. Plie arm first. Lift up and 
those legs. This one's simple, starts off a little bit slower and then we just repeat double time. So once you've got it, you're going to be able to go much faster. Simple for the arm as well because we're going to stay in second position for the whole thing. Third or fifth position with the legs, so cross that outside foot in front. So we take two tendu de bon. One and close. So two and close to the side, close behind, down here, stretch to the back, one, close, two, close, side, close front, down here, and stretch, repeat, same speed, one, and close, work through the foot to a full extension each time, and as you come back, think about drawing thighs together, not your ankles, down here, double time, one and two and side and plie, back and back and side and plie, again and side, plie, back for two, side, plie, now slow it down, long, back more long, we lift and lower. To the side, close behind, derriere, and lower, plie, rise, and back, arms to first. So if you want to, your arms can start to ache in second for this long. When we come to those long, we can fifth, and second, and long, first. All right, let's try it with the music. This music could not be more Christmassy. Two to the front, one to the side. One, two, side, clear. To the back, one, two, side, clear. Again, one. Last to the back. Side. Double time. One, two. Side. Plie. Back. Side. Good. Again. And back. Now look. Slow. Two, 
lo sotterrei. To the side. Pull up. Strong. So we've got a little bit of unusual counts, but it's quite simple. I'm going to prepare by taking the foot to the side, nice strong extension, and then place in our petty batman position. You can leave that arm in second, or you can bring it down to bra bar. Up to you. We're going to come back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front. Back, front. Three. Time, back, front, back, front, we lower, plie, extend, and place. We're going to do it twice through. If you want to, you can bring this second go onto a rise. Make sure you pull up out of this hip, no sinking down into it. Back, front, back, front, back, front. Lower. Plie and prepare. Last time, 12, all the way, continuous speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go as fast as you want. Lower, plie and stretch. We're going to take a rond de jambe, turn that front foot slightly parallel, and take a calf stretch. Good. Close to third, you'll have the inside foot at the front. Same thing, rond de jambe. Be careful if you're using a chair or a bar there. Turning that foot parallel again, another half stretch and finish. Okay, so if you find this a bit of a struggle, too much to think about, too much of this going on, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Just take a continuous speed at whatever pace you want. And the position for this is toe comes to the top of where your sock or ballet shoe heel would be against your Achilles tendon. And then you wrap that heel slightly forward so that it's resting just on the front of the leg. This knee stays turned out as possible and you pull up out of this supporting hip as much as possible. It's a tricky position. It does feel very strange. Try not to hold too much tension here in the shoulders and you're only moving the leg below the knee. So you're just hinging from that knee. And that knee should feel easy, not too stiff. Yeah, easier said than done. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Third or fifth, prepare and face. Back, 
Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, arm up, and back and back. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Fondue in, okay, remember that. Kuru, bring the arm down, and you can take both arms here all the way through fifth and lower down. So your outside foot is at the back, you're working foot. Devape, extend, a la seconde, lower down with control. Quarter rond de jambe, coming forward. Bend that supporting leg and just take a little stretch towards the bar. Recover as you straighten and close. Okay, rond de jambe, rond de jambe. Arm down and up, lift and lower. Bend, bring the back foot in and then kuru, 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 kuru. Forward of our arms and lower. Devil pay, extend, lower, tiny, rond de jambe forward, bend that supporting leg, recover and close. Be careful as you take that very last movement, you're bending the supporting leg, but you're pulling the tummy in and you're feeling a side stretch. Make sure that you don't stick that bottom up, it's really tempting, but pull everything in. Okay, we want to protect those lower backs. Third position. Breathe the arms. Round the shoulder. Okay. Arm down. Lift the leg. Stretch and recover. 
Take that stretch and look down and away. Keep that neckline lovely and long. Third or fifth. Maybe 10 seconds. Third position. Pulling up and preparing. Do one. Clear. Two. Clear. Three. 
One, two, three, clear. Back left. One, two, three. Here we go to the back. one of my better devil pays then. Who knows? Let's come into the centre. So step away from your bar. Now is a really good time to grab a drink if you need one. So we've got three centre exercises here and obviously feel free to just skip ahead and stretch whenever you are ready to. Oh, thank you Bertie, that's really lovely. So first of all we're going to take a little pour de bra, optional arabesque lift in this one. We're going to face the corner, right foot front, and you are reversed. So you have an open line, which means that if you were to turn your whole body to the corner in first, your downstage leg, the leg closest to me or your audience, is going to come behind in third or fifth position. So we're going to start with our arms in front of our lovely tall posture and we're going to take a demi plie and chasse forward. Keep that turnout strong and then pull up, pointing that back foot and extend into arabesque line. So you've got an open line, your back arm is long, look along those fingertips. Other arm out to the side. Bring those arms to first position and then bring your front arm high into fourth. You can take a tiny back release here. Good. Open them to second and then bend those legs as you coupe that back foot in. We're going to step onto the back foot behind, side, close, in front. So you should be facing the other corner now with your other foot in front. So let's take it to the other side. <laughs> Plie chasse. Point your back foot, arabesque line. Arms to first. And then swap so your front arm comes high, little back release, and then open the arms to second, coupe it in, step behind, side, close in front. So you'll notice that's really tiny. I'm not taking a behind, side, huge grapevine. I'm just using it to change feet up, up, pop that other foot in front. So we're going to take this a couple of times through. Option on the second time through, or both times if you feel you want to make this a little bit more advanced. Two, chasse, arabesque, lift, and lower as you bring your arms to first, up with your release, coupe, behind side front, pas de bourree, or you can take a pas de bourree pique and come up, up, and down here. Chasse, and lift, lower, first, fourth, open, coupe, up, up, down. Or behind, side, front, no lift of the leg. Entirely up to you. Nice and slow. Arms 
Well done. Roll up gently when you're ready. Next exercise dancers is some sautés. So this is our cardio set and if you are not a fan of sautés, skip on forwards to the next exercise. All the stretch. If you're with me for sautés, these are not high ones. So we're not jumping really high, we're not taking off. Um, the main reason is because so many of us are at home and on hard floors and I really want to be careful of the knees. So we're going to just take really light, gentle sautés, barely coming off the floor. Just come to an extension of the foot and lower down. These are really nice because you can just work to stretch that foot. Keep a nice bend through those knees and hips and really, really take all of that weight with the knees and hips and work through no jarring movements at all. Take eight sautés. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're just going to stretch, reverse the arms all the way up, breathe, and down. One more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe. As you come down, pop that right foot front. Chantement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe. And down, other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe. And down. Of course, stop anytime you've had enough. I might not make it through. <laughs> Let's see how we go. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe. Second set. Test. 
So good for us. All right, so last exercise in the centre is a pirouette exercise. Pirouettes aren't for everybody, and if you are on carpet, you may well want to skip this one. Really nice and simple. Start with the right foot front, and all we're going to do is toggle that back leg behind, lower in four, bring the back leg up to the front in releve, and lower it in front. You should have your other foot behind now to point, four, releve, lower front. So my arms are coming second, third, first, and staying in first. Point, arms to second. Four, plie, both legs, your weight is centered here, you're not more over the front or the back. Right in the middle, arm to third. Releve, arms to first, close that foot in front. So that's all we're gonna do. You can pirouette this anytime you want. If you're not strong with pirouettes and you're still working up to them, take this as a releve exercise. It's a really nice preparation. And if you're taking pirouettes, we're turning on day or so we're turning outwards and lower in front. Point, four, turn, and lower. So I'll turn around so you can see. Right foot front, tendu, four, I'm going to turn left and lower, point the right foot behind, four, I'm going to turn right, and lower. Tips, bring that foot up further than you think you need to on that releve. Pull up, squeeze your abdominals, and squeeze your boots really, really hard. That is how you stay up on a releve. You need to make sure this leg is straight, so you're pulling up, up, up. Knee, glutes, abs. <laughs> so much to think about. And you're gonna take a nice third position, bring that first in a little bit tighter than the normal first. Single might be back here for a normal first. You can bring it in a few extra inches, bend those elbows a little bit more, and whip that arm in. So, this arm, I need to bring it in quickly. Meet the other one. Try not to start here though in preparation for your big turn. You still want to stay really tall and strong and lift yourself up. <laughs> Enough tips, let's go for it. We'll take four releves and then we'll try a couple of turns. Stick to the releves. If you feel strong, turn them all, whatever you want to do. Last exercise, go for it. All right. Right foot front. Here we go. Point to the back. Four. Renovate. Lower front. Point other foot to the back. Four. Renovate. Good. Really nice and tall. Two more. Point. Four. Relevate. Good. One. Four. Up. Down. Ready to turn. One. Four. Here we go. Drop it all the way across the body. 
arms out to the side and look in the opposite direction, look away from that knee. Well done, all 
those hands forwards. Hold your turn out. Drop the head. Good. Bring those legs together. Yeah.